I'm Leanne Kiefer. I'm a dental hygienist and I'm director of clinical education for Crosstex. Today we're going to talk about the last process in the sterilization cycle, the drying cycle. It's important that our packs or pouches be totally dry before we touch them to remove them from the sterilizer because there's a phenomenon known as wet pack or wicking which can result in a transfer of bacteria from the hands to the pouch. There's also a chance of puncturing or tearing when the paper is still wet. On most sterilizers, there will be a built-in drying cycle. Some of them will actually cause the door to partially open to allow the last of the steam to escape. Sometimes it's up to 40 minutes before the instruments can be touched. It has to do with the ambient temperature and the ambient humidity. In an area like Florida, it may take longer because the humidity is higher compared to a more arid climate. So let's take a look. You can open up the sterilizer door. It's very important that you wait to make sure that the packs inside the sterilizer are totally dry, that you don't take a chance for wicking because if you touch a damp pack, whatever bacteria, microbes are on your hand can be transported through the open pores of that paper. When the paper dries, the pores will actually close shut, which helps to maintain sterility inside the package. So when you remove the tray from the sterilizer, you want to do a visual inspection to make sure that all the paper looks dry as you see in this tray. To show you an example of what a pouch may look like when it's still wet, you can see that there's a little bit more of the crinkling, it's a little bit more transparent. This pouch would still be wet and shouldn't be touched until it is totally dried. If you do touch a package that's damp and a tear does occur, it's important that you actually remove the instrument from the pack, place it into a new sure check pouch and re-sterilize with your next load. Before we use an instrument pack, we should always examine it carefully to make sure that there have not been any punctures or tears. For example, at the top of this pack, you can see that a puncture has happened, but until you look closely, you won't notice it. You also want to look at the side areas for any crinkling or tearing that may have occurred during the process. When the packs are totally dry, you want to handle them the least amount possible. The recommendation is a pouch should be handled no more than three or four times at the end of the sterilization cycle. By removing it from the tray is the first time I've handled it. So by putting it into a transfer tote, it reduces the amount of handling to carry it to the appropriate treatment room. At this point, the sterilization pouches are in the transfer tote, can go into the treatment room, and into the cupboard until they're ready to be used clinically. Mm -hmm.